Well, the question I get asked the most about the pellet cone is how do you just go about mixing your pellets so they don't break up on the cast and they stay on all the way to the lake bed exactly where you want them. It is so, so simple and I really don't understand why people have a problem. What you need to do is to just take a bait box, get your pellets. I use these Instant Action 2 mil. they're brilliant, that's all I ever use. Pour a few into your bait box. Now you don't have to put a lot in there because obviously if you just mix them up wrong you'll ruin the whole lot. If they're too sloppy they're useless and even if you think you can take them home, freeze them and then you don't have to actually mix the next time but then you, you can't, it just won't happen because the freezing process will just absorb the moisture and they'll just be too mushy the next time. So you always have to mix your pellet when you get to your swim and as I said, all you do is put about, I don't know, a fifth of a bag of pellets into a bait box. That should do you for about six hour session using two rods. Put them in there and then add some water. Now, this is where most people go wrong. All you need to do is get a little bait box of water and just, that's it. That's all you need to add for the first time. Put them in your actual pellets, that water, drip it in there they will just be a little bit shiny, just a covering of, of water, and then leave them for a couple of minutes. Do something else, like have a cup of tea, put your landing net up, put your rod rests in, etc, etc, set your rods up. Two minutes, three minutes later, come back and do exactly the same. Just a little dribble of water. Mix them up like that. Just turn them over. And as I said, three times, that's all you need to do those. You might have to add a little bit more later in the day because they might dry out, but if you put a towel over the top, shouldn't have a problem. Next step, the pellet comb. In it goes, press it in there with your fingers, nice and tight. Little tip is if you've got wet fingers, you can just skim it off and make a sort of seal on both ends. There you have it, it's in the pellet comb. Baiting needle, push it through, Try not to pierce your finger. Just hold the pellet in there. Then get your hook link, 514 Reflo, size 16 Super Specialist. That's, you have to use those components. Use anything else, you won't get the right presentation. Another important point is when you come to actually push the cone out, don't just stick your finger on it because you'll hit that line, you'll trap it and you'll kink it. So just very carefully on the edge, Pop it out, there you have it. A pellet cone, perfect. Your hook point is embedded in the pellet. And then all you have to do then, my eyesight, as I've said before, isn't as good as it used to be, is attach this onto your quick change bead. Make sure it's there. I'm using 1.1 ounce lead and a little float stop behind. And there you have it the perfect irresistible mouthful for a big cruising, a tench, really designed to fish on the commercials but I have caught the caught big tench on this on really difficult venues and uh, I don't really see why you should have a problem, it is that quick and that easy, just don't mix too much up and just be very very careful how much water you use. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this into some water in a minute and I'm actually going to show you how that breaks up. You'll be able to watch it break up and it, it ends up almost like an egg with the yolk in the middle and a really critically balanced hook bait there just for a tensile cruising to come along and suck it up. And whilst that's breaking up, a couple of other little points you need to kind of pay attention to is try and be accurate, use a bit of elastic as a reference, clip up, stand in the same position, hit the same far bank marker and as you cast it out, just try and watch and look at your actual rig in it in flight and you'll see the pellet cone still attached with the lead in, in you know, front of it. And as it comes down to land, you're going to hit the clip. If it hits the clip too hard, it will disintegrate. So just lower it down as it hits the clip. Just lower your rod from vertical to horizontal position, straight in the line out. Let that lead hit the bottom. Now what you need to do is make sure you don't move that lead because if you do, you're just going to move the hook bait away and you'll be fishing a 
you know a single hook bay as it hits the bottom unclip just move the rod back to the rod rest line nice and limp just peeling off the actual wheel engage the bail arm put the bait runner on and then just tighten the bait runner up to the lead by hand and that's it you get the method right but you know it takes a bit of time to get it right and get all those elements right but the hardest point point is mixing that pellet and to me if you're using the right pellets it's the simplest process in the world and this method to me outscores the method because you've got that hook bait away from the actual lead or the feeder and it will catch you loads and loads of very very big cruisions and very, loads and loads of big tench and it's got me 20 pound carp as well so uh, get out there give it a go don't give up it takes a bit of time to get used to it and uh, tight lines enjoy it